over to the analyst desk. Here comes, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. And of course, we had to speak to player of the series, Faxi mm -hmm. and Maxor, as now Rocket is on their fourth consecutive win. First up, congratulations. Very unexpected for a lot of people, Faxi. Uh, tell me yes. about this series specifically. You again had a fantastic two games on NAR. I just uh, got really confident on NAR uh, from the previous series. I got on Fnatic and I got a lot of hate in the in some previous Ignar performances. <laughs> so I tried to prove myself that I can actually play Ignar pretty good. So I went ham today. Yeah, you were giggling a bit about that. Uh, yeah. See that as well. Did you help him and say, hey, you know, if you want to play it and you know you're good at it, just do it? Mm, he didn't really talk to me about the, the fact that he was reading Reddit comments and oh. saying Faxi now was bad, but he definitely improved. Like he showed a lot more confidence and uh, actually like pushing the side lanes more and I could feel him more in the game. No offense. Um, it definitely looked like there was there was a shift and you used to play a lot of Maokai and Shen and now with kind of the patch priority, yes. do you feel like you want to show more on champions like Renekton and on Nar? Is that more kind of your natural tendency as a top laner? Yeah, yeah. I'm more like a split pusher top laner. I, I don't like tanks that much, mm -hmm. even though I can play them because they're really easy, but <laughs> I just like to split push, uh, carry the game, carry team fights, kill turrets and side lane. Just Push, push, push. Yeah, that's what we usually hear from top laners, but sadly the meta is not always that forgiving. Yeah. Uh, Maxor, talk to me about this series specifically. For me, looking at it, Memento uh, and Maxor are, are quite similar in the, in the vein that they can carry an early game and propel their team forward. Were you looking to specifically shut down Memento in the series, or where were the priorities? Mm, I think both games, I wasn't really concentrated on shutting down Memento, but instead getting my laners ahead. Uh, we kind of messed up both games, the early game, like the second game, just the gank on mid was, I didn't play it so, I played it okay, but we could have killed him. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, as I said, more focused on getting my lanes ahead and then just playing our comp right. All right, last time we talked to you, unfortunately, was after a loss and then now all of a sudden you guys go on a four series winning streak. What has happened? What has changed in the team that you guys have been able to move upward so fast? I think it's mostly that win against Origin that gave us like that hope that we can actually win games and after that we just started like let's win, let's win, let's just win more games I guess. The momentum just yeah. changed? I think it was more than that, like of course that helped with the team atmosphere but I think it's also like we sat down as a team and we talked about uh, drafting uh, because I don't think we were pulling off the best drafts, we didn't really have a game plan but now we talk to each other more in game about what we need to do with our composition and in the draft phase like we talk about what we need and it really depends on what side you are. Um, so we just improved on that and yeah we're just playing better I guess. In the entourage you guys now also are working with a sports psychologist is what we heard. How is that working out for you guys? Mm, it's good. Uh, it was, I was able to flame my teammates and they wouldn't get offended Is that by the it. point of it? I don't think so. I saw it that way. <laughs> uh, Foxy has it helped you specifically? It's more like clearing the wind like getting on the same page, that everyone understands what the team needs and I think it helped, honestly. Yeah, it's always good to have an extra voice. Um, before we move on, I do have to ask you about the standings. Before it was Rockat at the bottom of the standings, maybe just trying to avoid promotion tournament and getting into that safe spot, but you're now tied for wins with Fnatic. Is your brain going a bit crazy now because that playoff spot is within reach? How likely is it, Max or Faxi? Mm. I think I mean we're against Misfits and G2 next. Um, I think it's, it'll be really hard to beat G2, but against Misfits we have a, a chance if we just focus on what we did wrong these games, like mainly the early game, because I think we played the macro pretty good and vision control and stuff like this. Um, maybe we can pull off a series win against Misfits. All right, anything to add? I would agree that G2 is a really tough opponent, but I think we can take down Misfits if we uh, play really good. Yeah, have a good day. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Thank you guys very much for joining me and congratulations, Max, Lore, Faxi and Rock at four series win in a row. And for us, one series down and one to go when we come back, Origin's final chance to save themselves from the dangerous waters of the promotion tournament. They'll be up against Splice when we return.
Jarnigan are trying to react as Baxi came in and got a big gnar against the wall. Jarnigan gets one, Jarnigan gets oh, two. Yeah. Got to Betsy. Right on top of him. There's the exhaust. He goes in. Let's see if they can finish the job. Yes, he can. It's Jarnigan that finishes him off with a piercing arrow. Flaxers, they weren't in sync with this one. He gets a take down by Foxy. He's going big on this one in mini gnar. Or no, not nearly. That's going to be just enough to finish the Nexus. It's Rock at no minions required. They're going to take it out. 39 minutes, 2 and 0.